Back to real food. This is me. Day one. know me hey what's up nice to see you again and to the newbies welcome don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up that's what we do around here we show support today I'm gonna speak to you guys about my weight loss journey I'm currently 237 pounds a lot of people will say oh you don't look like it I don't want to hear it because if that's how much I weigh then I do look like it Okay, I started this journey at 260 pounds and I got all the way down to 233 and then I moved up a little bit around the time while I was stabilizing my weight. I wanted to go ahead and go into the details so that you guys can know everything you need to know about the program that I was on in case you guys want to get your weight off really quickly, healthily, and then keep it off afterwards without having to do too much. No exercise. Yes, I said no exercise. Actually, they forbid it. Just for the scale of things, I'm gonna say I lost 25 pounds because technically I could say 28 or I could say 23. Watching the weight melt off my body was just amazing. So I'm gonna give you guys all the information first and then at the end I'll go through the content that I have and then we can kind of look at old pictures even though I know I put some at the beginning of the video like what I ate and all those things, pictures and things like that. This is my second time filming this video. I filmed this video at the beginning of the month and at that time I was like two weeks off or maybe three weeks off of the program. The first six weeks are pretty intense and then the last three weeks are more to balance out your weight and to make sure that you don't gain that weight again. I spoke to the doctor and the staff often. Every week we would have a Zoom call and every day they would check in to see how much I was weighing that day and if I had any questions I can call with no problem. So how I got into the program was I was speaking to my friend Chris. His sister was losing weight rapidly and she had been trying to lose weight for a really long time. He would be like, oh yeah, Tiff lost like 10 pounds and I'm like, that's great, like that's awesome. And then one day he was like, Tiff lost 15 pounds. And I was like, wait, didn't you just tell me she lost 10 pounds a couple days ago? He was like, yeah, now she's at 15. And I'm like, what the heck is she doing? And he's like, uh, it's this program that she's on, da 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 And I was just like, oh, okay, that's cool. The next thing you know, maybe like four or five more days go by, he's like, Tiffany lost 20 pounds. And I'm like, wait a second, 
What are we talking about? What is going on here? What is happening here? Cause, cause come on, I, I'm gonna need to know what's going on. Cause you just told me she just lost 15 and right before that you told me she lost 10. Now she at 20, what is happening? And so he was like, I'm gonna give you her number, call her, talk to her, she's gonna tell you everything. I don't really know what's going on. She just telling me her updates. So I called her and she gave me all the information I needed to know. She gave me the phone number. So this video was gonna be me doing what Tiffany did for me, for y'all. Sorry, I got a phone call. So, um, what is back to real food? What is this program? Cause that's how I was feeling the first time I heard about it. What is this, keto? What is this, some type of Jenny Craig? What is this? Because I'm not trying to put all this money into something for nothing. This is personalized metabolism repair we're dealing with a real life phd doctor who knows what the heck she's talking about of course she's not going to give you her time for free she wants to make sure that you're serious about it i just had to make that very clear up front so after i did the conversation with the doctor staff they told me how much it was going to be and i made my payment and once i made my payment they scheduled a zoom call for me and the doctor she told me all the things that i was going to need to do very clearly and if i had any questions she was there to answer it was face to face and then she also told me all the things that i would be getting within the package there they're based out of Dallas so she had to mail all the things to me but if you're in Dallas you can actually go into the store and then they take before and after pictures and all that stuff she gave me a discount code too I'm gonna put it in the description box they send you all the minerals and stuff that you're gonna be using to supplement within your diet and a scale like a full-on scale and the journal right maybe on my third or fourth week they introduced an app so I'm not sure if they're gonna give you guys the physical copy of the journal or if they're gonna actually have you guys use the app. But once you get all your things and you have another meeting with the doctor or her staff where you get on the scale, you check all your measurements, you input it into the system, and then you start your program. The first couple of days of the program are the loading days. So you eat the things that you're used to eating. When I got my package, I said, I'm ready to go right now. The doctor was like, no, you need to do the loading days. And I was like, I don't think I want to. She was like, just do it, you know, because once you start the diet, you're not gonna be able to enjoy any of those things. I took on the loading day, but the way Tiffany told me that she did it, she had all the things that she loved. She went to Starbucks. I would definitely recommend that you do your loading day. Don't be stubborn like me, because once you get into the actual thick of it, it's no joke. Once you get into the thick of this program, there's no turning back. I hope you guys don't turn back. There's a few times where I wanted to stop and I just pushed myself through. I'm actually thinking about opening up a phone line where I can communicate with my followers that do end up doing this program. So that way you guys have someone like Tiffany for me because there was a time where I was like, I'm not doing this, I can't, I can't even think straight. I called Tiff, or Tiffany called me actually and she was like, how is everything? And I was like, right now I'm really hungry and I don't know what to do. <laughs> she talked me through it and I wanna be able to be there for my followers who do actually end up doing this program as someone other than the doctor and her staff to speak to you guys or to walk you through it or to talk you through it. After loading, you have six full weeks of a regulated diet. The diet that they had me on had very specific greens, very specific protein, and very specific like fruits. I had an unlimited column, which was pretty much like spinach, kale, lettuce, you know, things that are obviously you can eat as much of it and nothing will happen to you, you'll be fine. Let me go get my journal. I'll be right back. I went and got my journal. This is the journal that they gave to me. It came with a measuring tape and it has all this information. It has my name right here. They sent it to me with my name. All the um, different measurements of the minerals that I can use. They fill all that out for you and send it to you. And so this journal is yours and it has all the information you need. Step one, loading. And then step two, reduce. So like they literally have all the information and this page is the page where it has like the things that I can eat. On this page I have the unlimited category and then I have my vegetables and they have a tier A, B, and C. Tier A means that you can have like one to three cups of whatever vegetable is in that tier and then tier B means that you can have one to two cups of whatever vegetable and then tier C means that you can have half a cup of fruit. You want to stick to tier A as much as you can. Tier C works too but you don't get to have as much food as you want. Use it as like a treat. And on the protein side it's the next page and so they have a, a tier A, B, and C as well here and like I said it's all personalized for you. At the back of the book it has like your journal where you write all the food that you're eating throughout the day. Yeah there's just a lot of <laughs> 
there's a lot of information if i was to go through this book i would be acting as if i'm the doctor with you with my information which would be counterproductive you know and then halfway through they introduced their app right so they have an actual app right now and then you have access to the doctors and the staff directly through the app now there's other apps like this out there but the reason why this one is special is because you have access to a team that's actually putting your information into the app daily so every day you know exactly what you're supposed to do because you open up the app and it tells you what to do like what by the end of the six weeks you realize like okay it wasn't that bad the six weeks sounds like a long time but you only get one menstrual cycle in six weeks and even though I'm saying menstrual cycle men men can do this program too <laughs> the last three weeks they're a lot more lenient with you with the foods you could eat the things you could do I was able to snack for the last three weeks and when I tell you the fact that I could just eat something random right now like it just made my life a whole lot better so the last three weeks were a breeze it was really easy the last three weeks I didn't even realize that they finished so quickly and as a matter of fact the last week I started acting crazy I started eating all types of crazy stuff and they gave me an extra week so don't be like me because this is your money this is your money you playing with stop don't be like me okay so now I'm gonna tell you guys why I think this investment is worth it reason number one is because I trusted the woman who referred me like I know her to be an extremely exceptional black woman and so I was just like yeah <laughs> I'm doing whatever you doing okay I trusted her and here I am another reason is that I started getting frustrated because I couldn't even fit my clothing and I was just like, what's the point of me having these expensive pieces of clothing in my closet if I can't even fit them? I just started getting frustrated with myself. Like, why am I letting myself get bigger than I've ever been before? Where do I expect to be in the future if I keep at this rate? Another reason is because when I was like 23, 24, a few of my friends went to go get surgery, right? I felt left out and I was like, I'm about to go get surgery too. And so I put the money up, I flew to Miami, and I was ready to get liposuction. <laughs> I wasn't going to get the whole BBL because you guys are already know what I got back there right but I was gonna get liposuction my sister pulled up to Miami and was like you could just pay for a fitness trainer and you'll be fine and I was like you know what you're right because the amount of money that I was gonna pay for a liposuction that was gonna have me out of commission for a while was not gonna teach me how to take care of my body I spent more money doing that and almost never got my money back versus me actually losing the weight with this program and it being a lot cheaper than liposuction if you're thinking about getting liposuction don't do this first okay there's not a lot of places that are going to teach you this personally you can go to school which it won't be nine weeks it'll be a lot longer than that and they'll teach you about the body but there's not a lot of courses that are going to teach you about your body so think of this nine week program to be kind of like a crash course on getting to understand your body and your body's metabolism there's nothing better out of this investment than that right there the knowledge of knowing how to take care of your body another reason why this investment was really good is because it helped me jump start my weight loss so that way I can just pick up where I left off before I gained all this pandemic weight I was never able to do those one-legged hip thrusts but I've been doing them for the last month I'm able to finally lift my body weight 25 pounds is heavy that's a lot of weight. I'm able to lift myself a lot easier now. Another reason why this investment was really good for me is because it helped me build discipline. If you know somebody's gonna call you tomorrow, you're gonna make sure you do that diet because otherwise it's embarrassing and not for them, for you. And the last reason why this investment was really good for me is that I learned how to cook a lot of things that I wasn't used to cooking. They give you a whole recipe book. They give you a whole menu that you could just go in and you just pick the things that you like and then you go get the basics for those dishes and then you can just make them here and there and they're healthy and they're good and let me tell you something okay when it comes to cauliflower I feel like I'm the queen of cauliflower now like people will come to my house and I'll be like all I have is like fried cauliflower rice or I got some cauliflower buffalo wings cauliflower can shape shift into so many different things because it just absorbs whatever flavor you give it so I became obsessed with cauliflower I had jollof cauliflower rice I made Mediterranean cauliflower rice I made Chinese fried rice with cauliflower I just made cauliflower with red Red stew that was really good and then I learned how to make cauliflower mash oh my gosh cauliflower mash how come nobody ever told me about that get you a nice big old fat steak on the side some asparagus or some broccoli when I tell you I was eating like a queen because you're eating so fresh you're gonna be doing groceries every week or sometimes I would even be at the grocery store twice a week that was rare that didn't happen often but that happened so the improvements that I saw I saw a change in my skin and my eye color my complexion I got a lot more mental clarity and focus I was able to focus on my task a lot better mainly because I wasn't thinking about what I was gonna eat next I already knew what I was gonna eat I did a lot of meal prepping another thing that I put is that I built a lot of gratitude 
for food without food we're nothing like it's kind of like without god we're nothing and i started like just being so grateful and appreciative towards food and that's the reason why i'm not so bingy anymore like i don't just look at food as something to make me feel better i look i respect food now it's it's crazy that's that's kind of deep but that's what this program helped me do. Here are a couple tips I'm gonna give to the people who are actually gonna do the program. One, waist train. I guess I was kind of in denial that I was gonna lose as much weight I ended up losing. I was in denial. I started off wearing my waist trainer, but then I was just like, I don't think there's any need. If I would've stuck to wearing my waist trainer, I would've had a tiny, eeny tiny bitty waist. I got the waist trainer right before I started the program because I wanted to work out, and then I ended up starting the program. And then three weeks in, I couldn't fit the waist trainer anymore, it was too big. So I would recommend getting a waist trainer and waist training the whole way through. Because when I tell you your waist is going to be snatched, sweetie. Put a sweet sweat on when you go to sleep and then put your waist trainer on on top of it. When I tell you, that's a tip that I would I would have given myself if I knew that this is where I was going to be on the other side of the program. Another tip is to drink water when you get hungry. A lot of times I would think I was hungry but I was really dehydrated. And so I'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry. I'll eat something and I'll still feel hungry. A lot of this stuff is because I was dehydrated. Oh my goodness. That's what I'm saying. This teaches you so much about yourself you didn't know, like you would have never known. The program is gonna run you anywhere from 230 to 290 a week depending on the individual, right? So if that's how much it's gonna cost for nine weeks, then that means it'll be anywhere from 2000 seventy dollars to two thousand six hundred and ten dollars that's how much you'll pay in a bulk my lipo section that i wanted to get was thirty five hundred dollars and i paid it and didn't get my money back for two years when the doctor was getting sued for malpractice yeah y'all could go that route or y'all could come this route it's really it's really that simple so this is the last part of the video i just want to go through a few pieces of content that I have where we can kind of look back on where I was mentally. Even my living space was a freaking mess when I was chubbier. Can you see how much thicker I was? Even my boobs, jeez Louise. And this was about two days into Reduce. So this was like four days into the program in total. And that's what I looked like. This is day four of week one of Reduce and I made some kale chips. And the dish right next to it is like a turkey scramble that I was obsessed with. I loved it. I put it on top of everything. On top of my eggs, I put it on top of my salad. I made tacos, like little taco wraps with it with my salad, with my lettuce. And my air fryer became my best friend. I had had that air fryer for three years and I never used it. I probably used it twice my sister probably used it more than me because when she would come to my house she would use my air fryer get an air fryer when I tell you I would put chicken breast inside of there I couldn't eat chicken wings the first few weeks but the last few weeks that's why I was on my chicken wings my chicken thighs okay and I was throwing them Jones inside of the air fryer okay I would season my chicken breasts really good. They want you to use a good amount of seasoning. Like they'll say, they actually send you salt. <laughs> like they're like, use this salt, and like eat it, use it, okay? I season it real good, put it in the air fryer. Oh my God, the juiciest chicken. Even my steaks, I threw my steaks in the air fryer, the juiciest, best steaks I've ever had. Mm. Ah, so good. The kale chips were great, by the way. I haven't learned how to make my own salad dressings because salads were like my thing. You can eat as much salad as you want, make a nice little balsamic dressing and put it on top. Another vegetable that I really loved was zucchini. I would kill a zucchini so quick. Whether it's zucchini noodles or I'll chop them up into, actually I have a zucchini noodle like turner now, but I'll chop them up into little tiny pieces and just fry them up on the skillet. Okay, any flavor you put inside the zucchinis, they're gonna take that flavor too. Mm -hmm. I already know I look crazy, you don't gotta tell me, but I just wanted to let you guys know that today I woke up and yesterday I was 256.6, but today I'm 257 on the dot. And I always weigh myself twice to make sure it's the right weight. So in case you're doing this and you gain a little weight back, um, it's normal. Just wanted to say that. Wow, that was nice. Woo! This is when I started looking good, baby. After a certain point, I tried to put on the same dress so that way you could see the difference. So um, I'll post a picture of how I looked in this dress before versus how I look in this dress at the end. Yeah, this was a great experience for me and I will recommend it to anyone. Not only is it like a great program where you get to learn yourself and learn how to take care of your body, but also the staff is like the best people that I've ever had to work with. It's an experience that I wouldn't mind going through again every year. Like it's something that even though it's hard as hell, I wouldn't mind doing it every year because of how much the women that work for Dr. Liz 
care. All I'm trying to tell y'all to do is go. That's all I'm trying to say. If you can afford it over a year span, if you could afford a BBL, if you could afford liposuction, I definitely recommend, recommend, big recommend, okay? And I'm gonna talk to the doctor. If anybody signs up with my coupon code, I'm gonna tell her that she can give you guys my um, number so that way we can communicate. Just text messages though, you guys don't call me because I don't even answer the phone for my mom and my friends. But I'll respond via text. <laughs> and I think that's a good incentive too to get it going and we can get um, to know each other and stuff. And we'll have something to kind of relate to, you know? If you guys are interested in losing anywhere from 15 to like 40 pounds, they guarantee 15 pounds. I lost 25. Um, but if you're interested in that, make sure you guys contact Dr. Liz at Back to Real Food. It is definitely worth it and I will forever be a spokesperson because I went through it and I am a living testimony of how good this program works. So grateful that I was able to do the program and I just can't wait to see your guys' results. Within the next nine weeks, before the holidays, you guys are gonna be snatched if you guys start now. That was just on the news. Go ahead, Dr. Liz, I see you, girl. Do y'all fine. Do it before it gets too busy. Tell your friends too, tell your homies. They can use my discount code as well because I asked for the discount code for y'all. Um, make sure you go out and do wonderful things in the world Make sure no drama comes from anybody but me. Give me a kiss. Bring it in. Mm -hmm. Bye. Keto has been said to be really good if you really want to lose weight fast, but bad in the long run. So be very careful with keto. Every single time I did keto, I lost the weight and gained more weight after. So just, just my opinion. And I'm sure other people who have done keto can say in the comments below they experience the same thing. It's really hard to lose all the weight in keto and keep it down. This is different. So my waist is 35. As you can see, I have on a bra, but my bust is a lot smaller than my bra right now because I have to get new bras. I'm a 41 in the bust, 51 in the hips, 29 in the thighs, 13 inches around.